This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and this tutorial is on how to do a bulk edit on products within Shopify. So within Shopify you can go to products on the left hand menu within the admin and then you can go to your products and you can make uh, edits to them by going into the actual product. But if you want to make uh, edits quickly to multiple products without having to go in and edit the product uh, you can and see as I uh, click in here I can just make my edit and gives me the ability to save after I made an edit but if you want to um, go in and do edits to multiple products quickly without using a spreadsheet to export and import uh, going to the bulk edit is a good way to do it so you might say you just want to edit certain products in that case you can just filter out those certain products using the filter right here or you may just want to start editing all your products. If you do all the products, click the checkbox at the top here, and it gives you the ability to do the bulk edits. So if you were just choosing one product, then it would give you the um, it would give you the option to just go in and edit that one product. But as long as you select multiple products, the other way you could do it is you could just pick the products that you wanted to edit and it's going to just give you those items. Uh, so if we want to do that and we go in, uh, these are some bulk actions we can do to these particular products. Uh, we can add them to collections, remove them from collections. Uh, we can add or remove tags. Uh, we can delete these products or we can make these products available or unavailable on certain channels within Shopify. So if we want to go in, we just want to edit these three products we would click on edit products now once you have the products that you want to edit you can uh, you can adjust the field so you can see more or less you can add fields so the way you adjust the field is you put it between the header here and you can just move say if you want to make SKU smaller you can move it uh, but you can only make it so small so um, there is a minimum length or minimum width that it gives you that you can make these but it does allow you to put more fields on so if you wanted a different field that is not showing you can go into see all the fields that you have available and you can see that there's a scroll on the right hand side so there's more fields here like meta description URL handle but most of your fields are going to be up here like your title your tags uh, let's just see it I didn't have tags so now I have the tags field uh, and then I can make this as wide or as small but if it's a wide field it's going to push that down so that uh, I can see everything that's in this field and if I want to go through and just take items out I can just go to the tags and I can remove say stretch from this bracelet right here so that tag is no longer in there and then once I've made the edits that I want Let's say I want to change the price on this one as well. <clears throat> so now I've changed this tag and I've changed this price. I can just hit save and that saves all my bulk edits. Uh, so you can add as many fields as are available here so that you can work on multiple fields. Say I wanted to um, have the inventory in here. I'm going to have the inventory tracking policy. I track inventory. So if I'm tracking inventory on this product, I may want to see the available inventory as well. And that's the inventory quantity. So you can see on some, if I'm not tracking inventory, it's not going to have an available inventory to change. But if I am tracking inventory, it will. So when I go to don't track inventory and save, I no longer have this option to change the inventory. So you need to make sure that's on if you want to track inventory in that. So let's just go through real quick and take one quick look at filtering out very specific items. If I want to see every single item that I have, this is going to choose the 50 that are on the page, but if I have more than 50 on the page, I need to select all 50 plus products from the store. So now I've selected all 50 plus products from the store, and I go into edit. So this should give me everything within my store. Uh, that I can go through and edit. I still have to go between pages, but it allows me to go through each page. 
But if I wanted to make it more specific and I only want to edit, for instance, a certain category, you have a lot of filters that you can use. I'm going to just do uh, bracelets. So I'm going to filter all the items by type that are bracelets. And you can filter by different uh, values. So I'm going to filter by bracelets. Add that filter. Anything that has this type of bracelet. So now if I select these, I've got 50 products, but there's more than 50. So I'm going to click OK and click select all of them. And then uh, I'm just going to click on Edit Products. And now I'm going to be able to edit all of the bracelets with the available fields that I have here. And again, if I want to make changes to the width, just click on the header and then I can drag this left or right. So what I'm doing is I'm left clicking. Once I have this uh, double arrow with the two lines in between it, so I'm left clicking and just dragging left or right. And that's all there is to it. Uh, you can tune in to Pinehurst Websites dot uh, com my website for more tutorials uh, you can check out my blog or you can subscribe and like uh, my channel and every time if you're subscribed every time I do a new Shopify video it will be available um, to you you'll get notified so thanks for tuning in and uh, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst websites